After installing the Revit TV Drawing Manager, you'll be able to access it from the Add-ins tab in Revit Architecture 2010. Simply click on the icon to start the Drawing Manager. First time it opens, um, you'll be prompted to start a, a project from a database or start one from scratch. If you've never used it before, uh, I recommend starting from scratch. Once it's open, you'll have three tabs in the Drawing Manager to select from. The My Settings tab, Project Settings tab, and the Home tab. The Home tab is where everything um, to do with managing the drawings is done from. The Project Settings tab is where you would set up the database and the, the software application itself and control anything that is across multiple drawings at once. And the My Settings tab uh, controls user-defined or user-specific settings within the Drawing Manager tool. Things like forced uh, uppercase, um, whether to show tooltips or not, and to check for updates on startup. So a brief overview of the main interface. Um, got insert a, a new sheet, drawing sheet, edit existing, delete a sheet, insert a drawing sheet or title block between existing sheets and automatically renumber them, as done by the insert here. Import drawings from an existing Revit file. Export drawings to DWF, DWG and PDF as done by export and these can be done simultaneous and these will also have the file names correctly named um, to the user specific parameters uh, that are set in the configuration of the export. Issue a drawing. This will track its revisions uh, and form an electronic drawing register for you. The register can be uh, run off in a PDF format and can be included in emails or printed for hard copy when issuing drawings. Synchronize the drawings with the Revit project. Tag revision clouds. Uh, remove link uh, is to break the link between the drawing manager and existing uh, revision clouds. Issue history. You can review the issue history. Um, track back to see who got issued what drawings, when and where, and in what fashion. And then the transmittal report, which will create the PDF. On the project settings, edit a the project settings, this is where you would set up things like the overall project number, the project status, it's important to set the project status, this is a requirement for everything in the drawing manager as it tracks and records all the drawing revisions by the project status. The fields you see in here can be customised to suit the individual's needs, um, pretty much everything in the Revit TV drawing manager is customisable. These fields here relate to the built-in fields within Revit. These are the only ones that we really write back to within Revit. Um, all the other fields uh, share parameters that we write to and create um, on the fly within the Drawing Manager software. This gives us maximum flexibility and we're not limited by the, the current limitations within Revit 2009. link. This is where you would link uh, reference projects. So if you're working on multiple Revit project files at one time and you want to track and record and update all the drawing sheets within all of the, the projects simultaneously from the one interface, simply add and um, remove the reference Revit projects from here. And as long as each project has been configured with the drawing manager software plugin, you'll be able to update and amend those drawings on all the Revit project files from the one interface. The clean up button that uh, basically cleans up the local registry settings. It's applicable when you're starting to set any of the settings under my settings here. Uh, if you set something and you want to reverse it, um, simply clean up the, the project settings. And then the, the configuration. This is where you will set up the numbering, the shared parameters, the title blocks you want to use in your firm. You can have um, multiple title blocks and each 
title block has its own uh, revision schedule format and it can be configured to use a, a family object or to put in a, a text type uh, revision schedule. The revision stamps can be added in here. These are um, basically quick fire um, one click pick um, revision stamps to include in your revision schedule. Saves having to type them out over and over again and then it gets them the same on all drawings at any one time. This is where you'd also configure the revision tag for tagging of revision clouds. Uh, issue stamp is similarly to when issuing drawings back in the day before computers, um, most firms would stamp them with a big red stamp saying issued for um, say construction or issue for pricing. Uh, this here allows you to set um, some stamps up for um, predefined issuing of issue stamps and then within the, the title block or the, the family of your title block you can specify a, a label, make it red or green and the drawing manager will write to that parameter. Project status, you can, there's some predefined values in here um, these can be fully customizable and you can uh, add your own in as, as many as you see fit. On the issues tab, this is where the configuration of the drawing transmittal form is done. Uh, you can add your distribution list for uh, people that are receiving drawings, their method of uh, transfer and document status, and the report itself. It can be A4, A3, uh, letter, legal. Um, get the ability to add your own company logo in the corner and to specify what kind of information you want on the header. And when, once that's all configured you can save that out as a as a template for reuse um, through your firm. You know, it just saves having to set up the drawing manager on each project. So that's a quick overview of the drawing manager interface. Um, check back soon and I'll upload some about how to configure the the title blocks for the first time you use it. Thank you.